Welcome to another episode of Alpha Wolf Academy, fellow wolves. Today, we're venturing into the fascinating future of Bitcoin's maximum supply. What happens when all 21 million coins are mined? Picture this, Bitcoin mining is like a high-stakes treasure hunt. Miners, those brave wolves with powerful computers, solve cryptographic puzzles to add blocks to the blockchain. Each solved puzzle brings a reward. Newly minted Bitcoins. When Bitcoin first emerged from the shadows in 2009, miners earned a hearty 50 Bitcoin per block. But there's a twist. Every 210,000 blocks, roughly every four years, a halving slashes the reward in half. Right now, it's down to 6.25 Bitcoin per block, and in April 2024, it halved again to 3.125. Imagine the last coin slipping into circulation. What then? As the 21 million Bitcoin limit is reached, block rewards will ultimately drop to zero. Unlike gold, which can still be traded without miners, Bitcoin's miners are essential. They validate transactions and keep our digital gold secure. The question is, without new coins, what will motivate these miners to stay? The answer lies in transaction fees. Miners earn fees from transactions in each block, and ideally, when block rewards vanish, Bitcoin's adoption will have soared, or its price will be so high that fees alone will be a sufficient lure. But here's the howl of concern. Can fees alone keep the pack motivated? Historically, fees have been a small slice of miner revenue, spiking during bull runs, but often too meager in bear markets. However, recent trends like Bitcoin ordinals, NFTs on the Bitcoin network, have driven fees sky high, even in bear markets. This surge is a boon, but will it last? It's a question as uncertain as the full moon's glow on a cloudy night. Miners might also find new revenue streams. For instance, participating in demand response programs where they get paid to pause operations to balance the electrical grid. In Texas, where wind and solar power rain, miners have pocketed up to 10% of their revenue this way. As renewable energy spreads its wings, such opportunities might become more common. Additionally, miners with access to dirt cheap or free electricity could keep mining profitable even as rewards dwindle. Lastly, the self-interest of Bitcoin holders could keep the network thriving. Imagine major investment funds or even nations holding Bitcoin as a reserve currency. These powerful, economically invested wolves would have every reason to keep the network secure, setting up mining operations if needed to protect their stakes. The future may see a network buoyed by strong vested interests ensuring its survival and success. So, what do you think? Can Bitcoin's network thrive on transaction fees alone, especially with the rise of ordinals? Share your thoughts and join the discussion below. And if you're curious about NFTs and tokens on Bitcoin, check out our video right here. Until next time, join the pack by subscribing to our channel, keep howling at the moon, and let Alpha Ton connect you and your fellow wolves.